Hi, I'm Rishabh. I graduated from St. Lawrence College back in 2018 with a diploma in computer networking. I landed my first internship with one of the software companies in Kingston, Ontario. After two months, I was hired there as technical support specialist. How I was introduced to the cloud. During my time there, I was introduced to cloud. The company used it frequently. We had a SaaS solution for customers and hosted around 600 of them in AWS. It was fascinating to me. Given my curiosity, I was able to convince my manager for a test account to play around. I started launching some Linux instances in the development environment. Little did I know how interesting this journey was going to get. During this time, I discovered Free Code Camp, so I started learning web development during my leisure time. Along with some web dev projects, I explored cloud and how I could leverage different services to host a website, landing my cloud job. My company had an opening for a position in the cloud operations team. I'll be honest, even though I lacked confidence, I gave it a shot anyways. My interest and willingness to learn cloud convinced the team that I would be a good fit for the position. If that opportunity was not available, I would have practiced more with some hands-on projects, deployed them in cloud, and with some updates to my resume, I would have started applying to external junior associate cloud roles. Free CodeCamp played a role with web development skills that I learned. I was able to create my first portfolio site and hosted it in cloud. Finding good learning resources to fill a skill gap is the key. There are a lot of resources like Free Code Camp and Google Cloud Skills Boost. So with some basic knowledge of AWS, understanding of cloud computing concepts, and my portfolio project host, I was able to secure this position. I believe it was the project that convinced the interviews to say yes. I had prepared detailed documentation and architecture diagrams. They asked why I chose certain cloud services over others, questions such as what is load balancing, how I was implementing it on my portfolio site, why I chose a specific load balancing method over others, how would I host it on a VM, and why I didn't host my project on a VM instance. It's important in an interview to have deep understanding of cloud concepts and how you applied them to projects that you have listed on your resume. But what about cloud certifications? I do believe that certifications help you land your first cloud role. That being said, it only helps to a certain extent. What I mean by that is if you only have the certification and lack actual knowledge about cloud concepts, it will be hard to land a role. I only had an AWS Cloud Practitioner certificate when I applied for the Cloud Engineer role. Having good projects will help you not only understand the concepts better, but it would also demonstrate your skills and expertise to the employer. So how did my help desk skills land me a cloud role? So if I were to look back on the journey and steps I took to get into the cloud, I would say start with some training material, familiarize yourself with cloud computing concepts and services that cloud provides. Google Cloud Skills Boost is a great tool as it not only has video-based training, but hands-on labs to go along, which I think is really important. You need to get your hands dirty by deploying VMs, setting up VPCs, configuring databases, and deploying load balancers. After training, I would suggest building a project that is available publicly on GitHub and is hosted on cloud, so people can view it and see it working live. Document that project well, have architecture diagrams and explanations on some of the design decisions. This will help you demonstrate that you have deep understanding of cloud concepts. And finally, I would recommend is to take an associate level certifications like the Google Cloud Certified Associate Cloud Engineer, as now you should be confident having gone through training and having some hands-on experience. Now you're almost ready to apply for cloud roles after grooming up your resume, including the skills you have learned, experience in help desk that will help you in your cloud role, and projects that you build along with certifications.